China's opening up continues as it keeps expanding market access for foreign investors by implementing the common practice of negative list management. Simply put, the negative list specifies two things: the Chinese sectors to which foreigners have no access and those with limited access. Based on the list, there are three scenarios. In sectors with no access, foreign investment is not allowed. As for sectors with limited access, foreign investors have to comply with certain requirements, such as an ownership ratio. For example, if you want to build nuclear power plants or civil airports, it has to be a joint venture with a Chinese majority shareholder. You will then apply on a case-by-case -case basis to Chinese authorities for a certificate. There will be a written reply of either approval or disapproval. Once you have the approval, you can start investing. As for sectors not included in the list, it's much easier. No approval is needed, as foreign investors are entitled to national treatment. This is a big change, like an open party that needs no invitation. Just sign your name at the door, and you're in. When foreign investors register their companies, their files will be automatically logged at the commerce authorities. Such simplified procedures strike a perfect balance between facilitation and governance. In case of ownership or equity structure changes in the future, foreign investors only need to record the changes online within 30 days. Restrictions from China's negative list will only be reduced, but never increased. That's Beijing's solemn pledge to the world. China has also implemented a special negative list in its free trade zones, with greater freedom for investors. The trend is unmistakable. China is increasingly open and convenient for foreign investment.